Good morning, Mr. Ferry. My name is Mr. Shah, one of the orthopedic doctors, fine. and I've been asked to examine your right knee. Is that okay? That's fine. That's fine. Do you want someone to be present while I'm examining the joint? No. Okay, that's fine. Are you comfortable? Yes. And we'll get the curtains drawn. Can I begin by asking you to walk a few steps towards me and then go back, and I'll check your gait. That's fine. And if you can now go back. And on examination, the patient has a normal gait without any limp. If you can stand in the center of this room, that's fine. On inspecting the knee from the front, the alignment of both legs is straight. There is no obvious scar or sinus or any swelling. There is no obvious wasting of the quadriceps. On examination from the side, the leg is straight and, there it, and it is not held in any abnormal flexion posture. And on examination from the back, there is no obvious swelling, scar or sinus in the popliteal fossa. The rest of the spine and the pelvis is also in good alignment. Can I now ask you to sit on the couch? Excellent, okay. Now, can I ask you to straighten your good leg first at the knee, slowly? That's fine, I'm checking for patellar tracking and also for the fact that he has full movement in terms of extension. And now the affected side. Just straighten it slowly. The patellar tracking is normal and the range of movement in terms of extension is normal. Right, you can go back now, and can I ask you to lie down on the couch? Both your legs straight. Again, confirming my inspection findings that the alignment of the leg is straight, and checking from the side that the knee can touch the couch, and there is no obvious flexion posturing. I'm just going to have a feel of your knee now. The temperature is normal. I'm going to feel with a little bit of firm pressure. This might be a bit painful, but I'll try and be as gentle as I can, okay? Always looking at the patient's face. There is no obvious tenderness superior to the patella, on the patella, inferior pole, patella tendon, tibial tuberosity. Can you bend your knee a little bit? That's fine. Medial joint line, lateral joint line, lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament and straighten it again and there is no tenderness on the back of the knee. We shall check if there is any fluid in the knee and the patellar tap is negative. And the wipe test is negative, that's fine. I'd like to check how your knee moves now. I know that you can straighten it already. Can you bend this knee for me as much as you can on your own? So I can check for active movements, that's fine. And I'll try and push it a little behind. So the active and the passive movement is full range and normal. And just extend it for me, straighten it, that's fine. Okay, just to compare, can I just check that knee as well? That's fine, and straighten it, that's okay. What I need to do now is check that the your, your knee is stable. I'm going to do a few tests. These might be a little uncomfortable. I need you to be as relaxed as you possibly can, okay? It's fine. Just let your knee go floppy and let me take it. And I'm checking for varus and valgus instability. And the knee is stable on valgus stressing and varus stressing in about 20 degrees of flexion. We shall now check the anterior drawer test. I'm going to just sit at the end of your foot. I hope you don't mind. Making sure that the hamstrings are relaxed. And gently drawing the leg forwards. Again, the knee does not demonstrate any laxity on the anterior drawer test. From the side, there is no sag. So I know that the posterior drawer test will also be normal. Straighten the knee first. I will now do the Lachman's test. I need to put my leg underneath your thigh. I hope you don't mind because my hands are a bit small. Again, making sure that the patient's hamstrings are relaxed. And the Lachman's test is negative, and there is no anterior-posterior instability. We'll now do the meniscal signs. This test is a little uncomfortable, so if you have the slightest of pain, I'll stop. We need you to bend your knee fully. That's fine. And the way I do my meniscal tests is and the patient does not demonstrate any pain and there is no visible, audible or palpable click. 
and so the meniscal test is also negative. We'll now check for the circulation and there is a good distal pulse. And to complete my examination, I would like to examine the patient's hips, his spine and his ankle. Thank you very much, sir. You've been very cooperative. You can get dressed now. Thank you. Right. Now that you've seen a simple way to examine the knee and to be able to reproduce it in five minutes for your OSCEs for the PLAB, we'll go through the special tests for the knee again slowly and in close-up just so that you get the finer points of the technique. We'll start by doing the patella tap test for effusions. Always make sure that the patient is comfortable. Pressure on the suprapatellar pouch to milk the fluid down. And then just a gentle tap of the patella to see whether the patella ballots. And in this case, it does not. So there is no fluid in the knee. We'll now do the varus and the valgus stress tests. And I like to do it this way because I have smaller hands. There are other ways of doing it which are equally correct. Making sure the patient is comfortable and checking for opening of the knee in about 20 degrees of flexion and confirming that the patient is relaxed. The valgus stress test to check for medial opening and the varus stress test to check for any lateral opening. That's fine. And we'll now do the drawer tests for anterior posterior laxity. And I need to sit on your foot again, okay? Before you begin, make sure that there is no posterior sac. Making sure the hamstrings are relaxed. So the anterior and the posterior drawer tests are both negative. And now we'll do the Lachman's test. Again, because I have small hands and the patient's leg is large, with his permission, can I put my thigh under yours? Make sure the patient is relaxed. Keeping the thigh stabilized. Pull the leg forwards with the other in about 20 to 30 degrees of flexion. And there is no laxity on the Lachman's test. That's fine. And the meniscal signs to end with. There are more than one way of doing the McMurray's test. And this is the way I do it. And quite a few of orthopedic examiners do. If you know any other way to do it, which is equally correct, then that's fine. You can stick to what you know. This test is quite uncomfortable and usually does not give much information. And so it is often not done in real life. Go back again. That's fine. Thank you very much.